G'day guys, Robbie Hogg here. Um, this video is a follow-up from the Acid Jam session I did on the Akai Force. I'll leave a link to the description on that and there'll be something somewhere around here. Um, so with that, I got quite a few questions on how I did that in the hype synth, um, what macros I used, all that sort of stuff. So this will be a tutorial on that and um, be doing that on the Akai Force. So we'll jump over and take a look. So here we are over on the force. Um, what I've done, I've already, I've set my BPM. This is 117 BPM. I've loaded up a 4-4 kick. Um, and I have, whoops, wrong one. And I have loaded up an instance of Hype Synth. I've also created a MIDI track. Um, the notes I want accented, I've got all at full velocity. And you can see I've got a couple of glides in there and then all of the bass notes, um, anything I don't want to accent, I have got all set at um, their own velocity, which is what I'm not going to tell me because, ah, 48%. Um, I put it all in there using the um, the step sequence step sequencer mode, um, so I just use the step sequencer for doing that. And the 303 having uh, 16 um, steps in it, I've just done the same with this. Okay, so let's go over, take a look at hype. Um, one thing to note as well when you're doing this, guys, is on your plug-in track, make sure. You have got this set to read and not write. I was playing around with this before and I started um, writing in automation. Um, and yeah, it started throwing everything out. So anyway, here we go. So the patch, come up to your presets. We're going to come down to init and we are going to load analog in it. Turn oscillator voice right down. Turn detune right down. Um, oscillator, we are going to change down to source sync. After that, we're going to come into the filter amp. We're going to turn off all of our release, all of our sustain, and that's the other thing, turn off all of your effects. And there we have that. So now I'm going to start playing this um, MIDI clip and I'm going to start playing around with the decay. Um, so as well, turn off both velocities on your amp and your filter. And that's what we've got. So I'm just going to play around with the cutoff a little bit. And the rezo, it just helps um, when I'm trying to <clears throat> get the sound in. Oh, sorry. Nearly forgot. Setup, we want to turn the mode into mono. We want to turn glide onto legato. And glide time, we're going to play around with a little bit as we're going. So, that's what we've got. Envelope depth, I'm going to bring that up a bit. That's 26. Um, amp, I'm going to turn the spike up to about 50, uh, no, we're going to leave it off just for now. Velocity I've brought up 50% on the um, amp, and we're going to play around a little bit more with this. Turn the rezo up. I don't generally like to go past about 90% on the 
Bozo. that section done um, what have I got so at the moment I've got filter at 52% reso at 90% um, filter envelope attack at zero decay is at 436 milliseconds um, sustain release at zero amp I've got attack at zero decay is 503 milliseconds sustain and release are at zero um, now Let's play around with the knob. So I like it on the project. Um, that's what I had on last time. So I'm gonna hold down my edit button and then hold down knobs and it's gonna bring this up. I'm gonna actually, because I was playing around with this before, I'm gonna clear those macros off. Um, and now we're gonna assign the cutoff and the resonance to these two macros. So tap your learn and then shift clip that gets us back into hype synth now i want to assign the cutoff to the first knob so i'm making sure i've got that one touched and that's been assigned now i'm going to go onto my second knob which i want to be the resonance um, select the resonance and then turn that now i'm going to go edit knobs bring me back to there and make sure you turn off that learn big thing otherwise you just start getting more and more macros in there now my cutoff um, from memory, I think I had that set at seventy-seven percent, and the resonance, I think I had that set at ninety percent. I found once I started adding distortion, um, it started getting a bit funky once you go past those points. So that's why I've got that set at that. Uh, da, 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 da. So anyway, let's have a listen to this. That's sounding pretty decent. So, next thing uh, was the effects chain that I had. So in the effects chain, I had... Uh, harmonics I had distortion and I had this one which was at total distortion um, let's have a listen to that that's a bit too loud turn it down a bit just for now uh, da, 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 da. Effects, extortion, so that was that, um, mixer, and then after that, I had EQ, para EQ, and then after that I had da, 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 compressor. So your EQ and your compressor, just set that to how you want it. Um, I'm not going to go into that too much in this one. And then the last one that I had... Um, was Mother Ducker. Where are you? Dynamics. There we go. That was it. So I'm going to turn off compressor and EQ just for now. All right, so I've turned off EQ and compressor. Mother Ducker. Let's just change the threshold a bit on that. Um, actually, sorry, I was staying there just for now. And, um, yeah, this is them both together. So the kick and the acid.
that's it. So yeah, I'm going to save this as a preset, guys, and it will be posted in the description so you can download that and have a play around with it. So that's it for that, guys. I hope you've liked this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, don't forget, like, subscribe. If you do something with this as well, post us a, a link in the, in the comments too. I'd love to see it. Anyway, I'll catch you later.